Reddit has this uh, relatively new trend of people posting receipts, right? And the receipts will usually show that Americans are cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, they don't want to tip their waiters. It, sometimes they'll even leave funny notes on the receipt. And, and the latest receipt says the following. Uh, the person who was eating at the restaurant, it was basically a pastor. And apparently in the receipt, uh, they had already included, automatically included an 18% tip. Now, uh, the pastor did not like this, and he wrote the following on it. He basically said that, uh, um, I give God 10%, why do you get 18? And then he crosses out the tip that was already included, writes zero for additional tip, and makes sure that the total is the amount of the bill, no tip included, 34.93. Now, first of all, you don't give God 10%, you're the pastor, you receive the 10%, so let's just keep it real on that count, right? Uh, the 10% goes into your pocket. And is that what Jesus taught you? <laughs> Thou shalt not tip, right? <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? If you, if you think it's an extra couple of percentage points uh, above what it should be, you know what Jesus would have done? He would have said, oh, no tip for you! That goes, I bet you voted for Obama. <laughs> I got you! Okay, so, now on the other hand, don't get me wrong, the mandatory 18% tip drives me crazy. Okay, look, look, you want me to be generous, God bless your heart, you know, lately, because of all the pressure you guys have put on me, my cheap ass has gotten better and better with tipping, okay? Uh, but don't make me do it, I don't like that, and I wouldn't have gone as far as this guy. And then you're right about this trend, it's the revenge porn of uh, waiters. Like, they're like, oh yeah, that's, oh, that son of a bitch. They used to talk about it in the back in the kitchen or wherever, you know, among friends. Now they're like, let's put it on Twitter. Let's put it on Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to get that son of a bitch, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's what's happening. Here. Yeah. I don't know if I'm, I'm against that. I mean, if they want to vent and they want to use social media to do it, that's fine. I mean, in some cases, they get strike back from their own bosses because they're not supposed to make the company look bad. Um, but at the same time, this this kind of behavior is ridiculous. I don't know whether or not they had a party of six. I know in California there's a policy in most restaurants where if you're a party of six they put an automatic tip there. But judging by the bill, I think it was just him. And an 18% mandatory tip when it's just him is a little crazy, mm -hmm. right? But 10 people? Oh, there was 10 people? Where were they eating? Like the 99 cent store? They each got a separate receipt, okay, <laughs> separate bill, there was 10 of them, but they added the 18% anyway. How do you like that for the needless minutia of this story? I'm, stop taking pictures and posting of people screwing you, screwing you over with their tips. Just, hey, you know what, go complain to your boss. Get a, hey, get a union together and say, stop fucking us over by paying us two thirty-five an hour for a full-time job. Get paid by your employer who's making all the money. Like, to be, to, to be mad because someone isn't giving you the extra money to, to supplement your income that your boss is fucking you over for, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, we've, we've grown Richard. accustomed to doing it. No, you know, please, you pay your waiters. You swung me. Pay Robert your waiters. Jackson. You no, swung you're, me. You're, you're absolutely right about that, JR. In fact, the SEIU was fighting tooth and nail to make sure that they could increase the hourly wages of these waiters and waitresses. But then you have, like, the Restaurant Association and people like Herman Cain getting involved. And, of course, as Jenk points out on a regular basis, money corrupts politics. And that's where the money was. And so that's why these waiters and waitresses are making, like, two forty-three an hour. All of that is true, but I'm also against this revenge porn of the waiters because we don't know what the waiter did. Maybe the waiter was a, a douche. I mean, uh, so maybe he, he spilled coffee in his lap. Maybe he didn't, never came by. Whatever. So, okay, now we're going to all start taking pictures of our lazy waiters and putting it on Instagram. Like, oh, got you. I asked for buttered bread this morning and when you, I was at breakfast. Is that why you're grumpy? And I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm, you know what? Next time, I'm putting, I'm taking a picture of the unbuttered bread and I'm putting it on something. You'll Tumblr, show him. Right? Yeah. And be like, oh, look at this waiter. Didn't even butter the bread.